Hi, this is Lainey. I'm back. And this uh, five, seven minute slot is going to be with Diane Byington, who's going to talk about her book, If She Had Stayed. I'll just remind folks that you're joining me as part of Women's Fiction Day, hashtag Women's Fiction Day. It's the second annual Women's Fiction Day. And for fun, I'm just meeting up with author friends and we're talking about their books live for five to seven minutes each online all day, almost every 30 minutes. And I've been having a blast hearing about different books. And you've got a new one that came out just in February, right? Um, do you yeah, have a that's right. Show? I do. There Let's you go. see. How do I do if this? She, there it is. It is. I is don't it know how to fix that. That apparently is a downfall <laughs> of Instagram Live. So if you can read backwards, folks, it says if she had stayed, if it was correct way around. And um, Diane, tell us about this book. Well, it's about regret, I think, uh, mostly. I'm, I'm trying to hold my iPad steady. So here I go. It's mostly about regrets and second chances. You know, those things that you do, like maybe back in college that you Regret. No, no, I've never, no, uh, not my whole life, never done well, anything I regretted. Yeah. No, 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 me neither. No, me neither. Uh, <laughs> but uh, most of us move past those, right? But my character doesn't. She kind of stays emotionally 20, and she's 35, and she still regrets leaving her college boyfriend. Um, she just she just thinks she made a huge mistake and and she can't move past that and she's never talked to him again but um so okay so one thing leads to another and she finds uh, some notes written by nikola tesla and hidden away for a uh, uh, hundred years or so about his experiments Ooh. in time travel and she thinks ah this is the way I can go back and I can fix it. And I can stay with Scott if I choose to. Otherwise, if I can, I can come back. But it's my choice back then. And, and so it's a second chance for her to go back and do things differently. Oh, wow. That's an differently. awesome premise. I love that premise. Like, don't we all wish sometimes we could go back and like have a second chance at the decisions that maybe I know one of mine definitely involves hangovers. Like there's some moments in my life where I'd like to go back and like re redo certain nights. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she gets to do that. And of course things don't turn out exactly the way she thought they would, but she still has an emotional journey. Um, from awesome. it. So um, that's the emotional Perfect journey. Perfect women's part fiction. Of, and are, are you doing anything to celebrate Women's Fiction Day today? Do you have any giveaways or are you doing anything in terms of watching and anything? Yeah, I'm going to give away three um, copy e copies of the book. They're on my uh, Facebook author page, uh, Diane Byington Author com. And um, all you have to do is just make a little comment of any kind. And uh, tonight oh, I'll perfect. give away well, you know, I've been meaning to go actually do the treasure hunt myself. There's an amazing page on the at women's fiction writers, uh, dot org website with all the different offers from everybody and your offers there and my offers there. And hopefully when I have 30 minutes between these, I'll go and like sign up for everybody's win special offers. Cause your book is one I've had on my list that I really want to read. Oh, great. Fun. I'm and, looking um, forward to reading you. One of the too. questions I ask, I've been doing these um, IGTV shows, and one of the questions I ask is, is there anything that didn't make it into the book, right? Is there anything people might not guess when they read the final book about where it started? Well, I, I really enjoyed it. So the letters yeah. from Tesla are in there. And, and uh, it, Tesla wrote to the future. And oh my gosh, did I love writing those. They were so much fun to figure out how to write like he would have written, hopefully, if they was, you know, 120 years ago. Um, and they didn't all make it in. So that was disappointing to me. But of course, all of them that needed to make it in, made it in. And some of the adventures that Kaylee has didn't make it in, but everything that right. needs to oh, make it in is Oh, that's always the thing, right? There. We have to be ruthless with editing because the end book has exactly what needed to be there. But there's always the stuff left on the cutting room yeah. floor that you're like, oh, I love that scene. It doesn't belong, but I still love it. <laughs> 
Well, exactly. anything else you want to tell yeah. us about the book and your special offers? People can go to your Facebook and win a copy of this one. If she had stayed, show us, show us the front of it again, just in case people haven't seen the cover. Okay, here it is. There we go. Here it is backwards. If, if she had stayed. <laughs> <laughs> if she had been invited, anything else before we let you go? <laughs> oh, that's no it. Problem. Thanks so much for doing this. And uh, oh, the book takes oh, place awesome. in Boulder, awesome. where I'm at, and and Colorado Springs. So, if anybody has ever been to uh, either of those places, you'll find oh, perfect. Places perfect. That perfect. Well, um, give the give the book a shot, folks, and I'm definitely going to read it. I love the idea of time travel and changing our decisions, and how I imagine it's complicated. It's never that simple, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, really. thanks and congrats on the second book <laughs> there. Take care. Yeah. Thanks so much, and thanks for the interview. <laughs>